Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. It is Friday, October 29th. I'm Sean Coffey. We're getting a check of the forecast now with meteorologist Logan Westrope. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Sean. After the sunshine, nice temperatures yesterday. We are going to notice a change as we are talking about our next storm system moving into the region for today. It's also going to bring those wind gusts a little bit higher, especially compared to yesterday when the winds were calm. We will notice those winds picking up out of the east anywhere from 10 to perhaps 15 miles per hour sustained. Locally higher gusts, though, as we go into this afternoon, especially and still pretty breezy as we go into the overnight hours. Those winds will start to relax some as we go into Saturday. But today with your eyewitness weather forecast, it is starting off relatively quiet. A shower or two around this morning. Otherwise, rain developing as we go throughout today. Temperatures into the lower and mid 50s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Some scattered showers around for Saturday. Few showers for Sunday, Sean, but temperatures into the upper 50s. All right, Logan, thank you. A 14 year old girl was abducted and assaulted in a human trafficking case. One man is behind bars this morning and the other remains at large. The DA says John Watson forced the girl into a car while she was walking along Union Street in Luzerne Borough. Police say she was then taken to William Smiley's apartment where the two men forced her to take drugs and sexually assaulted her. The DA says the victim was then taken to the Red Roof Inn in Plains Township where the assaults continued. When Watson left, she called 911 and was rescued by police. Smiley was arrested and Watson is still on the run. The DA says Watson made threats against police and is considered armed and dangerous. A heavy police and fire presence was seen in a Luzerne County neighborhood after reports of an explosion. The response surrounded a home on the 900 block of West 1st Street in Hazleton. Police, fire and UGI were all on scene. Neighbors say they heard a loud bang around 7 p.m. Officials on the scene did not comment on the investigation. That does it for now. More eyewitness news and weather on air and online throughout the day. But for the very latest, visit PAHomepage.com.